Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and amazing and amazing spectacular propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda. Off here to hear everything and amazing one we one on a crossroads winter. In the north, it is Jabba Jabba Jabba, fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland, taking on the role here of the second Panzer Division with defense of German infantry and Luftwaffe supply doctrine. Straight to German infantry, the Panzerfaust pack and half tech bullets the south, it is Eisenus Kreutz. Funny here for America, freedom, democracy. The hard bitten first armor division here with mechanized company, tactical support, and recon support. So we're off to the races here on Crossroads Winter. And as always, a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters who keep me in the business. Without them, I was certainly not able to do so. Very heartfelt thanks to those. You too can join the ranks by pledging on Patreon, or you can just donate. Links in the video description. Always commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing. Also help spread word of the propaganda cast. Get out to like both the old of the old channel. Yeah, old fans of the old channel, but all just new fans. So do consider doing that as well. Anyways, double right side. We got Eisner's Kites here with tactical support, featuring light machine guns, half tracks, P-47s, and reconnaissance and strafing runs plus the Calliope versus the 250 half ticket, the veteran squad, the stormtroopers, assault and hold, and fragmentation bombs. West side East, where Jib is going up, is going to locate to stop tier Eisner's Kreutz early game of Boldman. We have Jib again, and clearly not something Kreutz is expecting as he's heading to do the same thing to Jib. So Jib, in this case, heading in aggressively there with the Pony Sling, then Samson the car pump, but this following up. How will he react to this? Will he just dig in hard and east instead? Looks like that will be the case. Jib is there holding up. No tanks have slowed down here, could have done that, but I guess at this point it won't matter anyways. Third round gone away, five snows, Kreutz in his base. Second gun is caught there for Jibba Jabba Jabba and going here for the calf point. Dug in there, bit of barbed wire there. Specific thing just to print so they can't like use the point while being ahead of cover, grab the point. He's going to need at least one more strip of barbed wire there for that to really work. But he's abandoning the fuel pond there, probably deciding, yeah, it's going to be pointless to fight over that one. Anyway, so I think that's a smart tactical decision there by Eisner's Kreutz. Then he's advancing on the center, backed up with the second one. Back here, nothing for going on for Jebba. Pani's advancing on the fuel point, as again, Kreutz here has easily and wisely backed off. We'll probably see a upgrade here soon, at least tech soon. As for Jebba, probably used one more gun leader squad here before taking out. They could go for a very fast tech, but there you go. Third gun leader squad there for Jebba, 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 and the German army. Race popping to the center, Eastern field being seized by the Raptor squad. Shuffling from there by Eisner's Kreutz, and there he goes, shots fired. We've actually been almost three minutes without a single shot fired, so that's a bit interesting here. Bit interesting, though, not necessarily frightfully exciting. But there you go, now things are heating up here. Ground less than fuel pond there, Sandbox as well to defend it. Thumbs up the jib, and before setting up, Rearson quickly backing off there. Gonna be just linking around the center with the third one on the way there. As for Eisner's Kreutz, we do get tech, it is very much a clip between command push. Rearson caught the name before two as they push forwards and route it. Small win there for Jebba Jebba Jabba and the German army. Meanwhile, Kreutz getting ready to storm the center here. Two Ralph squads being lined up with the third one in reserve. Right to the gun leaders here, opening up there on the advancing Ralph squads. No tools to sort of say speed up the assault like grenades, flame first, or mortify here fires on his points, meaning if Jibber can just sort of bark him down here, they should be Jibber's win unless something goes terribly wrong or terribly right, depending on the perspective. And before joining, he's to make it hard for the attack to go through, and Crotch is always starting to back off, which I think is the right decision to make here. Could have been a rather bloody affair here for him. Where's well, how to get rear with the pioneers? Fuel from the open, he's going to have to be positioned for so that we can all see Gibber is responding to this. Pushing up through the center, leaving the gun is supposed to be the right foot there. The turn has arrived though for Eisner's points. Can swing up 50 cal he wants to, though of course he may try and rush out a steward light tank on M20. Blesses him. Mines was up there in case Jib has already laying down mines, which he has not, I believe. Got a flame throw set up for the Pioneers here. Kreutz going for the ambulance, very sensible choice there. Jibber has teched. Nothing out of that yet. He could of course go for a Pentamus Court here, which would be, I think, quite helpful versus Eisner's points. Be very helpful indeed. And before setting up here, Ralph Court needs to be careful. Gonna get hosed down by the MD42 there, they're not careful. Turn hiding out in the south here. Shots being fired, and before too slowly positioning, got the gun tank from the north. Return attack from the south, but there you go. Round to the MD42's waiting gun barrel, and there you go. One killer, there you go. Ralph getting forced up another drop. Man drops dead, and there you go. Full right here, fires in the spikes. Jibber, jibber, jibber. Puts a heart lock down on that one. So he's nice and the calf on here, so denying Eisner's Kreutz from that. The situation has turned against Kreutz here with some aggressive before 2 play there from Jibba Jabba. Thumbs up there. Still nothing out of the base here. No tech, no Panzer Grenadier. 
I'd even say 250 one half track, which could also be in the current state of affairs be quite effective. Meanwhile, Kreutz is not even gone for the mechanized command post. No S mines there, not bad. Of course, something S mines feel can deal or much we can deal with. So he actually had laid down mines. Good work there by Jebba. But he can't use to deal with that. Not with the way his forces are currently positioned. It's down for going in the base here for Jebba Jebba. We got the like to make another thing going up there. Yep. Surprising how Panzer going to be here. He may have caught the cunning storm troops instead. But the Panzer is defined to be a very good investment. Big infantry push here. Gunners falling back. Western side being claimed here by the Americans. Give the situation there rather well overturned. Partly because again of that little manpower float there. Again, seeming indecision by Jibba Jibba Jobba. You could also just gone for another MD 42 in that situation. Would also not have been bad. But we got a 251 plus a 22 there for Jibba. Quickly mechanizing and motorizing his forces to fight the Amerikanen. Thumbs up there to Jibba. Rob's coming on the center of the hill today by the MD-42. No passage there. Fires and struts, GIs. East side here, we got the Gunnies pushing back the Rob's there. 251 there. Almost done. There we go. Mid rush shoots and Panzer Wagen out there for Jabba Jabba Jabba. Allowing him to move his infantry a lot faster about then certainly would then benefit from a Panzer and Squad or Stormtroop Squad since they can really get utilized that one impressively. But here we are. A bit more people won't get better in front of the but it's not far off either. I've got to be in the face of this mechanized assault. 2 to 2 almost done. we got Lieutenant up the flank here. Threatening to undo Jibba Jibba's right flank. Move down the west side here. We have some playing a bit of trouble. So Captain actually is going for Lieutenant and Captain. That's an interesting maneuver there, but can allow him to get out of the anti tank and fast, which he's definitely going to need here in the face of Jebba Jebba Jobu's mechanized madness. And these lieutenant low health from the fuel pump, but MP42 and it's shot. Bark in the center, going to need some back to the Ravscorp, but they're low health, they will not be able to continue this as much longer. And the West Captain here with a BA on the way, he's dealing with the Gunnadiers. The tenor course can be equipped with a bazooka if it becomes necessary there for Iceland's fights. Going to routed, going to for the Pioneer Spot, and of course the uh, two foot half they're going to be problem there for the Captain out in the open. One kill and a half, so far, got the Amatan racing from the other side here, catching Ralph Gordon the Pinter, and we got Benjamin Gunnison already here for Jibba Jabba Jobba, certainly adding to the property of Eisner's Koyx, who is going for the M1 anti tank gun. Then he's routed, caught with two Ralph Gordon, incredibly low on health, tiny chance of wipe there, tiny chance, but well, increasingly large. And there we go, we do get the Storm Squad here for Jibba Jabba, so looks like he was planning on those, adding the MP40s, thumbs up there. And of course, in a pinch, he can go for Panzer's Exon. Repositioning everything. Quickly meeting the new player here on the right flank. The there he goes, Stomp from getting retreating Rubscorp. Got the Pioneers, the Armored Counter Half to go, Johnny, and the chorus of Lair there on the retreating rifleman. Anti tank gun is finally round to the front line there for Eisner's Kreutz and the. First Army Division. Storm for catching Ralph Court here in the east. Suffering the mountain catch, but still have the engagement run up close there. And Armored Cars in trouble, need to fall back. Oh, that's too late now. The Armored Cars are going to be down here, I think. Half-Jack rushing forward. Though he gets away with it, surprisingly enough. I can figure that Half-Jack or Armored Car toast. And now we've got a Half-Jack fires on the It's going for anti aircraft traffic there. So both sides will be Half-Jack. They're obviously for different purposes. Half-Jack is going away now. And this to. Oh, holy smokes, he actually survived that. Wow! I imagine Jib is just as shocked as I am. Anyways, MU42 they opening up the advancing infantry there. Rob's got about it. Then again, there's apparently something where, like, there's some bullets in a pneumatic experience that gives it a slight increase of, like, surviving shots, like a small chance of a time. So maybe Jib is actually not shot. In fact, might have been planning this all along. You gibbery bastard. Anyways, the tent here taking apart the stormtroopers as they're retreating. Two fifth and a half have been fixed up. Could lay down some mines here. Back in after going on the base of Jibber Jabber Job. He's got the pack forward ready. And there's half to there. Quick response there by Eisner's Kreutz. Certainly gives uh, Jibber Jabber Job a bit of a headache. That's it, Jib is still very much control of the map. He's got a victory point lead here over his opponent. 
Captain going for the center. There's the Rathbolt in the west, captain further west up here. There's the right in the center. Vessel is being swarmed by the Rav Squad there. Half to governing up. Two kills for the Z1. Pioneers is the advancing Rav Squad, but being torn apart here by the Tron of Let. That Aisin is quite the leasing up upon. Jebba's force is the only spot clicking wiped out. Veteran Pioneers holds upgraded for Jebba. Thumbs up. And second up, they push back the half tick, which is getting Vessel too. Very good. Could pop into the arm pit around here, but then again, with half tick on the flank, that may not cause good. Pioneers here holding up against the advancing infantry, trying to slow down the tide of democracy. But Eisen is quite just having none of this. He pushes forwards. His men charging through the snow. Snow. And there's the comrades die. Snow. What the hell is snow? Some cheap knockoff snow from, I don't know, Pennsylvania. Anyways. Pantherfast on the half track. And he's just going to take up the half track here. Eisen is quite got a bit too old. Confidence half track. And Jibba 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 punished him for his hubris. And Titan can be more missed the armored car. That is some real rubbish like there for Eisner's Kites. Jibba Jibba Bali could only not consider taking up here. That was some of your headache there for Kreutz who were to push a fast medium armor. Western Field being chased the captain. And this down the Eastern Calf Point. Old Freak and his Gorton up there to Veteran from the Estates is very good. Fifth kill on the way there. Also worth noting, Crotch they equipping his one of the brown light machine guns, increasing their firepower versus the infantry. Hey, machine turning up there. He could do with some artillery here. Oh, Relax that. He could, of course, go for a mortar. Long term here, of course, for kind of Persian itself. Oh, not the Persian, the Calliope, damn it. Fifth guy, the almost done machine being pushed out, taking too much fire from too many sources up west here. Continue the pressure there from Kreutz on Jebba's far left flank. Is so for not yielding much response there from Jebba. He wants to push up the eastern side. Returning the favor there to Eisner's Kreutz and the first armor division. Stomping in there. Branham Granada flashing the infantry out in the open rather than, you know, catch on fire and die. Storms then popping into the building. They themselves lit on fire. That seems a bit too casual there by Jebba. Finish his lieutenant. Armored car there, suffers damage engine, but still, Eisner's Kreutz can't seem to finish it off here. Stormfield from Bravescourt here, packed up with the gun leaders here. There go, tax advance. Bravescourt forced back in there. Go fifth car around the scene, need to retreat the Stormfield now. He's popping his work grenade first. I think the forward retreating. Or will he try and actually grab the point? Despite everything, looks like he's doing exactly that. Also worth noting, he's actually cut off Jibber's fuel and Jibber's yet to recapture it. Very good there for Kreutz. Very good. Now the third going on there, we got Jibber though taking up, very good for Jibber Jibber Jibber, but certainly a potential headache for Kreutz as this match goes on. If again Jibber push out some fast armor and Kreutz could be caught off guard by that, though he does have one of the tanker, could also fill up with another one. So far nothing going in the base otherwise, oh there we go, we got take up for him as well, very good for him though of course, less great for Jibber. Pushing eastwards here, Jibba has still yet to grab the fuel, I guess he's just not been paying attention to it. That said, he's got so much in the map, it's not a huge deal, but at the same time it does mean he can't get as much fuel ahead of his opponent as he always could. Shooting hard to those four kills, haven't seen any mines from it, looks like the answer to that is nine. Things move towards the center. Finish the Rav Squad here. Should fight. Could consider firing a Rav grenade at them. There you go. Just do that. Exactly. Hoping that his opponent isn't paying attention. And close one there, but not quite. Lucky uh, Eisner's Clutch is on for Ryder here. Taking a fire. Catch is piling up. And they cannot achieve victory for the Fatherland. Just with that. Still, Jibber's got good men to it as a support. So he's struggling here to keep up with Jibber's aggressive pace. Major out there. And Jibber going for the support McCall. And can soon go for the Pentacle, which is going to be a headache there for Eisner's Clutch in the current state of affairs, but not too terrible either. Pack 45 with home to break down the house. Jimbo's had enough of that. Then he's holding up there. Get to cover nearby. Can't quite seem to land the hits it needs. Going for deep flank in the south, looking to up maneuver, Jibba's right flank, I think that's a good maneuver. We're losing a capture point. 
Let's say Jaber's going behind Kreutz's flank, but there you go, 50 cal to quick react. Roughing it off. Nice kill down the gunner. Kreutz's situation seems to be precarious, maybe trying to find him against Rowdy. Do you call an artillery here? Does not look like it. Enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Counter for half, are you done there for Jibber Jabba Jabba and the German army? The second hunter is shot. Johnny's coming around here, falling back towards the half in force. Half to get service closing in the ace level. Still no sign of mines there. But yeah, quick falling back to the half in there, guys. Salt and hold, two thumbs up. Such an overlooked ability by many of our map players when they do go for German infantry, but I do think it's quite good enough to use. In this case, it seems to have popped it a bit too soon, or it was something to use it defensively. But I'll basically just push it here, try and take advantage of it. Do as much damage to counter Tyson as quite, maybe grab some more points. Got the pine eastern about the right flank. Then he's just standing about, probably for the last one being forced. Half taking his very, very close with his feet. Can form the in storms branch as well. Definitely a problem there for the infantry. Doing a lot of damage to see that they they gain a significant accuracy bonus and they almost forgot the entire Rav Court. They can this remain steady though. Definitely a bit of missed opportunity there by Jibba Jabba Jabba and possibly Eisner's quite a uh, good fortune there. He didn't do that. Not an entertaining way for him to deal with the Jibba's Panzer IV. The Kreutz is not far from the Sherman tank of his own. They could also go for the M46. Jackson. Right, there's options there for Kreutz. There are options. And we've got him here for the gun of ears. Stomps are falling back, Panther will go into the base looking to raid it, and Sam is ready to meet this affront freedom, democracy. The American dream, and Egg almost takes out the Panther 4 there. Close one, but not quite there. Switching east was there, since Gibbs now pushes himself quite heavily on the west side, going for decent fuel here. Could be, of course, a swift path to fuel there for Kreutz. Half take there, very close to the east, on the car. Not quite that close. Storms with 9 kills for T2. Armoured car trying to take the 5th cal. At least they didn't have armour pissing around for any which case that armoured car would likely have suffered a very painful uh, encounter. Front at E6, return 97. Five close gun it is. They're on their own. Armoured car dodges shot the gun at 10. We have two round on lamps into the gun at E's here. And same as again, got the storm from forward. It's gonna catch the fifth gun, a pretty oh, horrid spot. That's an easy one for the storm to get used on there by Jebba. And we can see the anti-tank guns are quick to uh, get out of there in the face of these stormtroopers. But there you go, Lieutenant holding up the line here. And same thing, oh, anti-tank destroying the machine gun there. Jebba can shoot, go for another pants while this is Ice Kites, who is close to a Sherman tank. So with manpower going as it goes, it may still take some time. There you go, machine gun destroy. A significant blow to Tyson's Kreutz and the first armor division here. Going this round Raft Court with East. East side, there we got the Major moving up on the point there. The territory is out of contact. Panzer well rolling forward here for Jabba Jabba Jabba, and he calls the camera to the top there already. Very good. Soon go for now, as he's playing for tier 4. He isn't. I'm car racing through the center here. And another Sultan Hold in there. Go spawn a flank on the car. Spawn there against Jibba Jabba. Oh, Ice and Scott could take out the entertainers to keep the momentum. But no, it's going to take too much damage in the process and aren't quite getting enough momentum. West side here, Salt is bogging down though. And he's trying to win to support the center. Hard to say exactly what's going on there. way though, he's not going for the fuel in the car point in the end. More troops being going to assist the west side. There you go, gun is routed. Hands from the westwards as well. Troops being forcing healing. Support is here. Could go for the Sherman, but instead goes for the Calliope, wanting some rocket artillery, perhaps to like hit the Gibbs infantry, cuts on the support weapons. Definitely not what it expects here, but certainly well used as the Calliope can be a massive ending. But how he's going to use the course is going to be another match. And there you go, Panther 4 pushes luck too far. Suffer severe damage and risk getting knocked out here. On well, this case, gets incredibly lucky and avoids that. Fighting in forts there, the Got the storm troops in the east. Armor here. the rough squad. Yeah. 
Got the guy firing away there. Threat the machine in position here. And wipe MD42 Nest from the face of this earth, costing Diablo Corsair's MD42 crew as well. Quite explosive there, and a good introduction there, I suppose. As any. That said, does still Diablo doesn't have any opponents in tanks. He's gone for tier 4, though. Not a fan of that one. Of course, obviously, what Diablo Diablo does. Fires in his quotes, so they've done his armor. Can you actually fight tanks and such? And stand there, gotta go down the anti tank. Armor car there. Second volley though, misses. Half of the deck is three and loses it. Jibber there, definitely a bit too lax for that one. Costing him precious German war material. Anti tank and Calabi creating forks there. Calabi is almost ready to fire again. Does have quite the cooldown on it. Can't pull five kills there, six kills. He start there, a bit of maneuvering there, but it's only light. We got the Storm Radio to give any American infantry man that pokes their heads out too far a rough surprise. And the four there with six kills. Hey, Pants holding up for Jibba Jibba Jibba. Well, I've got was the Panther four. Calliope is on the fight again here. Less than 20 seconds. 10. A bit pushing these for the Gunnadies here under Jibba Jibba's command. Stomps continue to sneak about. And the Calliope is ready to unleash another rocket bounce there against him. Oh, Stomps caught here with a rough squad. And he's not quite paying attention. There you go. Gunnadies charging force there. You need to be careful. I mean, this is a Huge target for Calliope. We just lost a unit. Got the major, but Kreutz here may just get jibber with this one. He's not uh, careful. Yup. Some nasty hits there. And a full wipe on the storm to fall. That's quite painful there for Jibber Jibber. Quite painful. Great kill there for Kreutz. Great kill. Let's see what he's planning here. Strong Panzer of Panther. It's clearly not a Panzer Werfer. Calliope close to Veteran C1. Plenty of Samaritan Center. We got Form 38, it's 184. Well, can you go for the Strong Panzer now? But he, oh, he go, again goes to the Panzer Werfer. Alright. I guess we'll see if we can pull off a refro with it. Squad, get ready. Sherman, ready to go. Keeping forcing healing, Panzer F slowly getting ready. Enemy forces are securing our territory. He's like on this rough squad. Heavy cover is no cover there. Got straight from around the turn the tips here on the Gunnadies. Sneaky Kreutz. Thumbs up to that. Armor car rushing in though. West side here, the Crocs make good progress there for America, freedom and democracy. The same got police moving forwards there. Fifth car ready to deal with that. And east side, got the arm covers the rock squad. When he's suppressed. Hunter sitting out there. Hunter moving westwards, 10 kills, close to 2 1. Missed the rough score with a hell of a bang there. Got and change up the response on the Panda 4. Not landing any hits though. And these are his round rough score. Back up the armored car here. Another Clyde about here from Kreutz. There's something going to lose court there. Getting further kills, but no white. Very close to the front. Neymar Jibber has returned the field on him. Going for the Panda Bounce in the building, but compared to the Clyde, he's completely leveled the building. At most, it, you know, slightly ruined some of the roof tiles and gave some of the guys inside a headache. Okay, less impressive, I suppose, less impressive. Get me some point here. Panther Russian forces straight to the double anti tank guns. Calling in a fragmentation bomb here, trying to stay behind the building, but oh, managed it narrowly. Got both anti tank guns over that fragmentation bomb. A hell of a hit. 
regard to seeing Aceness Kreutzes and take tank response, I mean, that's pretty much just his entire like defensive strategy versus Jeffers Panther 4, they're gone in the blink of an eye. Really highlight just what a well aimed fragmentation bomb can do. Good golly. That's really terrible there for Kreutz. He's going for the Jackson tank show, but losing that is really going to make it tough for him to deal with it. Like, he can replace them, but even then, just experience lost, and just he has to then go for a lot of manpower there again. And that is 540 manpower. He has to replace them in the situation which I was really struggling a bit with manpower due to a lack of a tank. Clive is close to firing again here. Line just got 362 versus 184. And what would Jibber go for next? Strong Panther or Panther here? Who knows? Panther 4 though is in need of repairs. Rather significantly. That rough body was the Armacon East. There we go. M36 Jack and Tanks are out there for us Well, of course, in the center, and they're in the center as well. Dax moving forward there for Ice and his Kreutz. Western Kingdom lost there to Gibber and the Germans. It sounds like some sort of 50s pop band or something. Counters they're going to use here. Counters are using a badge there, which completely whiffs. Oh boy. He's definitely not pulling any referrals with that one. Grand Leafs and Field Point there. Still going away for Jibber Jabber. Definitely a better choice than the Panther. Much better choice there, though. He definitely can do some assault infantry. Back from the ports here. Cat caught in a bad spot here. We got 342 versus 284. Jack's moving forwards here. He can use the air content. He's going to catch Jibber Jabber off in a bad spot here. Seems not expected to say. Go, Jackson takes up. Jibber Jabber's Panther effort. His Panther 4 now is left to defend for itself. Stug is halfway down there for Jibber Jabber Jabber. Aircraft shot down. Crashing into the tree line. Numerous worlds killed. This aircraft fuel fills their homes and lights them all on fire. Can't find another pack forward. You almost taken out there. 2 to 2 Alter in top there. Go. Pack crew is toast. Stug almost ready. Panther 4 there. Close to 22, but Jackson's game veterans to 1 already. West side finding on the car point there. Going to the East losing the fight there. Fast retreat. East side also claimed the other the ice and his qualities man in this game around quite beautifully. Jibba is going for the second stronger shots. Say good. Say good. They need to keep the other one alive for long enough to then make use of this properly, I think. You also think he's like launching an attack from down the angle here against Ice and his quartz. Needs to try and catch him off guard if possible. Then there's a lieutenant in the east. 320 versus 284. And this is the rabbit squad here. Slow moving ahead one sport. Stu Pan von Armakar there setting forth for the German army. Deutschland. New start here we got the move finding out the Rafa got the tenant of the gun squad and chop so saying Stu Gomez done. There we go, Panzer four strikes. Tombstones toubled. As the Wehrmacht unleashes its deadly payload at the wrong target. Second stick around there for Jabba Jabba Jabba. 296 versus 284. Stitch is getting slightly tighter here. Air Recons again there for my Sinus Kreutz. Understanding that course reconnaissance is a very powerful tool to have. So two thumbs up the Tyson's Kreutz. Go for a tank here, use the capture device to Jackson shoots and misses. Live B is ready to fire as well. He's shooting to the port here. The live fire trench will hit the advancing assault there. Going to be being torn apart. That's a white, no, that's a white. Stuke being out distracted by the targets. Not good, not good. Cali, the almost taken out there. Stuke keep trying to get there. Go, got the armor truck going for deep flank. Where's the Panther 4? The Panther 4 for God. Jackson there go blocking it's retreated with the armored car line the shoots have to catch up but no the path is messing up for them and the armored car block there doesn't work out for much longer Stuke there forced to fall back and the armored car may just be toast here still was able to force back Kreutz for a while here another Jackson there for Iceland's Kreutz and America armored car there 
Avoiding himself from the Jaguar on the west side. He fifth cut coming up. They've got the troops moving in. They've both cut like machine guns. Can make decent work there for the uh, machine gun, but they're still occupied with the captain. Same thing with the machine guns. There we go, getting killed there in. Pioneer is routed. I'm going to come back for a pitch. We'll go for another Stu Key. Could also go for an Austrian. Of course, may charge up another Panther 4. But yes, yeah, forgot about the Panther 4. That was definitely a bit of a mistake there by Jabba Jabba Jabba. The Panther 4 being here would have been much helped to the map to win the match. Second Jack's on the side of the is quite stoop to need repairs. Captain Rod here with the Panther 4. Very close to the on that one. Second Jackson right around the corner of Isis Choice. Right around the corner. Odds worth noting now, Jabba Jabba's barely got any infantry of his eyes in this quite. Can soon go for another Panther 4 here. And certainly two Panther Fours, two shoots, I think, would be a very solid strike force here. So backed up by a number of infantrymen. Panther shoots, snipe some poor bastard. Western grab the rough squad. Got an airstrike there from, well actually not an airstrike, but the recon run there from Eisner's Kites. Just react to what the unit screams, you know. Bit of a bad habit, sometimes they scream nonsense, unfortunately. Jackson will get him actually too. And we got a straight run as well here from Eisner's Kites. And gave a ride around the dudes. Catching the Pioneers, pinning them down, preventing them from paying the assault guns. And now charging in with infantry and the Jacksons. A daring charge by Eisner's Kites here against Jibba Jabba Jabba. Not quite working out though, but Pack Pod's about to drop because it's the other Jackson pit. Collide off Ray TM Beach, a close quarters barrage at Jibba Jabba. Oh dear, and there you go, Panther takes it. They're almost taking out, in fact. Jibba is in a tight position. He can't easily deal with the Jacksons, and they got with air reconnaissance. They easily can make some use of the range. The aircraft that shut down the armored car just narrowly here. But there you go, Calabi now firing into the bunch of suits and infantry. Or not. I thought it was there, but they're still catching the Canadian squad here. Armored car taking hits. Mechie 2 gained the Clyde, Pete. Jibba's armor pool is heavily damaged. Infantry torn apart. We got 199 armor, 284. The situation for Jibba Jabba is looking pretty bad. Jobba. Fix up the Panther 4 there. Could try and fix up the Jackson and then charge in there. Clyde there with 13 kills, 32. Much. Oh, slightly faster they overall uh, break of fire there now with the low cooldowns. Jabba could do a constant economy some infantry as well. Pants gonna be there, stormtroopers. We'll have some good plans here. We got air recon again. Just very consistent use of their bison coits. Two thumbs up, two thumbs up. Going for another Calliope. Oh boy, oh boy. He's absolutely gonna bury Jabba Jabba beneath rockets. Storm Squad called in to try and assess the situation against behind the Isaac Squad's lines. Going for Panther Shrek. Into tank handle, but there's a fifth card ready to slow down the attack. Calliope almost ready to fire again here. Panther Ball getting into two stoops being repaired. Almost good to go here. Things are about to heat up once more. 145 184. We send the Stormtrooper right here. Calliope's moving forward here. And there you go. It's going to be a bounce range to Jibba Jabba's base. And he's being caught here in the rocket storm. Stomps there. Could get wiped out. No, no, no. Panther to attack for the Jackson. Keeping good range. Stoops charging forward here. And Tank Rock's going to stop one of the Stoops. There you go. Let's see one again. Panther 4. They should be blitzing. But isn't Panther 4 with a damage engine. Half health. Jackson and Mimol so far. Large attack. Another Stoops moving ahead. There we go. Another hit. Oh. Yeah, GG there. Jibba Jibba realized the fight is lost. So there you go. Game over. A brutal one we won here on Crossroads. Winner was some great stuff there in the end, though. Jeb, I feel like I got a bit too passive, a bit too focused on a small part of the map and not enough on maneuver. Plus uh, the lack of infantry and the loss of the half track, I think, further slowed down Jibba 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 a bit there. But still, also great play by Eisenhower. Of course, good aggressive play, but also got used to the every concert to further support this aggressive play. So two thumbs up there. All the way, hope you got this match. I've learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on it, tell friends, tell family, but don't tell enemies. This is Imperial Links and Cheers. Thank you for watching. Hope you all tomorrow again for another episode. Bye.